learn from it, build a skill set, and provide for yourself and your family. It's that simple. Um, you can't build something sitting on the couch. Well, hey, friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, in the last video, we showed y'all our cattle loading sorting facility, uh, portable, portable style, using portable corral panels. And we asked for some comments uh, and suggestions, and we've taken a few of those. We made a few adjustments. But today, today is the day. We're going to sort those cows. We're going to pick us two out. Um, we're going to see if we can separate them from the rest of the herd. And then the big challenge is going to come tomorrow morning. Um, we're going to see if we can get those cows onto the trailer. So hang out with us for a little bit. This video is going to take me two days to shoot. Um, but uh, let's see if we can get those cows sorted, get them to the processor, and get some beef put in the freezer. Hang out with us for a little bit. Buddy, lane's too big right here. And that's just how we had to make it. <laughs> it narrows down after we get out of this area right here. Woo cow. Boom. Boom. That went good, didn't it? It did. It was a little slow to start because they had too wide of a lane they wanted to eat. So. Yeah. But that went great. And you saw how, man, that was really imp impressive how they got in that tight, na narrow alley. Oh, yeah. And they just, they kept moving. Yeah. I mean, that was exactly what we wanted. So we got everybody down here in our catch pen. Now, we're going to start sorting them out. And we won't, we're going to keep two. And we think the two we're going to keep is 110. And the one that don't have a tag, right? Yep. 110 and no tag. So we're gonna keep our eye out for them. And what we would ideally like to do, we ideally want to keep them back here, don't we? Yeah. Until we get everybody else out and get them all sorted out. So, all right, that went great. So let's see if we can get uh, get these guys sorted out. This is no tag. Yeah, I think so. One side of that black and white. Oh, it's not no tag. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So the loading chute's not working, but we had a uh, we had a plan B to get them out. All right, baby, so we're gonna turn around. We're going up this way. Come on. Come on. All right. So we left us an escape hatch up here at the end. We've got them opened up. We just run them out there. We were just trying to test this loading chute to see how it was going to work. Come on, run them out. Let's get this last red and white now. Yeah, he turned. You know, this was the that was the original plan, and that's going to work. Yep. We know that's going to work. 
we're just gonna have to figure out that loading chain. Of course, in the morning when there's only two, we might be able to work them a little harder. I don't know. Okay, the plan worked so far. We got one little hiccup, I'll show that to you. But we got the two in here that we want, number 110, and then that one down there doesn't have a tag on him. So we have given them all of the area except for what leads down to the to the chute that's gonna go up on the trailer. We've closed that off. So they've got, you know, for two cows, I mean, they're fine for this. This will get them through the night and into the morning. We're gonna put some water in here so that they've got some water. And then we'll uh, we're gonna have to work on this alley. So we figured out, and some folks left a comment, and we didn't do it. We were gonna try it, but if you left a comment, so you need to widen your alley. You're right. I appreciate that. We're gonna move this T post out a little bit. We're gonna move that T post out a little bit, and we're gonna widen this out to make a little bit more of a funnel. So there's a, there's not such a sharp change in how much space they have it's going to be a little bit more of a gradual transition so one th big lesson learned so our takeaway here today my takeaway is you really really need three people when you've got them grouped and mobbed up in your catch pen it really takes two people to break out the animals that you want and that was what we ended up doing and that ended up working good we would break out so they would mob up they would just just mob up together big tight group worked good to send a person into that mob to break out a couple to one side and then work those instead of trying to work the whole group at a time so big lesson learned there that ended up working much better so so our little pin system seems like it works all right it is uh, a little bit well it's around six o'clock uh, on processing day and uh, we're gonna see if we can get these boys up in this chute and walked up onto the trailer. So we got the trailer put in place. I didn't show this last night. We got the trailer put in place. Um, they're still in here. So that's a surprise. And uh, Sandra's out here in her pajamas. So <laughs> that'll make it in the video. All right, so let's see if we can get these boys loaded up. And uh, I'm not sure how the light's gonna be. It's still kind of dark. Uh, we're starting to get the sunrise up, but uh, beautiful morning. Pretty morning to be out on the farm, getting work done. Y'all need to be ready to climb them gates if you need to.
Come on. Come on. Get on in there. Come on. Get on in there. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Them apples. <laughs> Very nice. Your system worked. Yeah. Your system Open worked. it up at uh, right there at the that front. Made a difference, didn't it? Yeah. That was what was needed. It was too much of an angle right there. Yeah, it was just too steep. It got, it got too tight too quick. Yeah. It, got, it just it got too narrow. So giving them that little bit of more of a fun. Man, they went right in. Wasn't that something? Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got them loaded up, and Sondra is getting ready to uh, to pull out and take them to the to our processor this morning. Uh, one of these cows is already sold uh, in two halves. We got two customers that have bought a half, so one of the cows is sold, and the other one is going to be processed just for retail sale at our farmers markets and anybody that comes here to the farm and wants to buy. But I was thinking about this. JW and I were talking. Uh, we stepped inside to get a cup of coffee. Um, we were just talking about something. This marks. Uh, a pretty significant milestone and it marks the fact that we've learned that we now have a skill set that we didn't have um, six months ago we know that we can bring cattle onto this farm we know that we can graze and effectively move cows across this farm which means that we can finish cows and now we know that we can load them on a trailer to take them out to processing and when you think about that that's huge. I mean, as long as we can find access to land, um, we'll never go. We'll never go hungry, and we'll always be able to earn a living because you can earn a living doing this. So, to know that we've got that skill set and to have worked through that and practiced that and learned. Now we're not experts. By far, we're not experts. We've still got a lot to learn, and we're going to continue to improve and get better over time. But to know that we've got that skill set. Is comforting and it's something that you know I've heard Joel talk about it you can't Google experience nobody can take this away from us now we know how to do it um, again we're not experts but we know we can do it but anyway I think the message there is if you're interested in farming if you're interested in, do, in doing any type of this type of thing raising pigs raising chickens raising cows sheep goats whatever vegetables whatever um, get you some Try it out, work through it, figure out the problems. We've had problems, we've had to learn some stuff, but figure out those problems, learn from it, build a skill set, and provide for yourself and your family. It's that simple. Um, you can't build something sitting on the couch. So, like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.